Unit 1 My World Exercise 1 Page 12 Hair Wavy Black Curly Blonde Straight, long, short, brown, height, weight, short, thin, of medium height, slim, tall, chubby, eyes, black, blue, green, brown, Age, young, in his early twenties, in his mid-twenties, in his late twenties, old. Exercise 4, page 13. This is my best friend Bob. He's 18. He is young, slim, and of medium height. He's got long, wavy black hair and brown eyes. One A, exercise two, page fourteen. Being thirteen, what's life like for thirteen-year-olds? In this issue, teens talks to Philip, a boy from Zagreb, Croatia. When does school start and finish? 8.45 a.m. to 2.45 p.m. Monday to Friday. Do you get homework? Yes, I do. After school, I take a break, then I do my homework. What are your hobbies? I play football and volleyball. This Saturday, I'm playing for my school football team. I also enjoy computer games. Who is your favorite famous person? Lionel Messi. He's short with short black hair and a beard. He's from Argentina and a great footballer. Where do you live? In a four-bedroom flat with my parents, sister, grandparents and our cat. Do you argue with your parents? My parents respect my hobbies and opinions. Sometimes we argue about me playing computer games too often. What do you like about being 13? I've got a really nice family and a lot of good friends. What do you worry about? I worry about my future. I don't know what job I want to do. Exercise 5B, page 15. One. Surf the net. 2. Watch TV series. Watch videos. 3. Play sports. 4. Play video games. Play computer games. 5. Read books. Read magazines. 6. Listen to music.
1C. Exercise 1. Page 18. One. Cheerful. Two. Selfish. Three. Generous. Four. Popular. Five. Talkative. Six. Bossy. Seven. Energetic. Eight. Honest. Nine. Impatient. Exercise 3, page 18. Helen is a really good friend who always tells you the truth about anything. She also likes to help out when somebody is in need. Not like Greg, who only cares about himself. Andy, on the other hand, likes to smile a lot and talk a lot. One D. Exercise two, page nineteen. The new teacher in our school is great. Really? What does he look like? Well, he's of medium height and he's quite slim. Oh, really? Is his hair fair? No, it's dark actually. What's he like? He's quite cheerful and very popular already. Look. He's chatting with Mr. Prosser. Is he the one with a short beard and a moustache? That's right. 1. Pronunciation. Sentence stress. Page 19. One. He's of medium height and he's quite slim. 2. The new teacher in our school is great. 3. She's tall and thin with long straight brown hair. One F. Exercise 1, page 22. Antonio's Backpacking Blog Hi guys, I'm starting my backpacking journey in Spain. At the moment, I'm staying in Madrid, and everyone is very friendly. A bit too friendly for me, to be honest. In Spain, hugging someone when you meet them or say goodbye is normal. But I'm from Poland, and in my country, we only hug our family and close friends. What about you? Mm. At Mia 2003. Great post, Antonio. I'm Mia from Australia, and here we often give the thumbs up to show everything is okay. Not in Thailand, though. Giving the thumbs up there is rude. Mm. At Andy 123. Hi, Antonio. I'm Andy from the UK. And here we nod our heads to say yes and shake them to say no. But when I visit my cousins in Bulgaria, it's the opposite. It's important to know a bit of the local language so people can always understand you. Exercise 5A, page 23. One, shake hands, greet. Two, curl your index finger, ask somebody to come to you. Three, point, show something or somebody. Four, cross your fingers, wish for luck. Five, thumbs up. Show everything is good. 6. 
tap nose. Tell somebody to keep something secret. Exercise 5A. Page. Exercise 7. Page 23. Hi, Jessica. You're back. Hi, Sam. Yes, what a great holiday. What's Germany like? Well, the weather is a lot like it is here in the UK, but the culture is different. What do you mean? For example, you know how we cross our fingers to wish for luck here? Well, in Germany, people press their thumb into the middle of their hand and put their other fingers over the top. Like giving the thumbs up, but with the thumb inside. Exactly. So does thumbs up still mean everything is okay in Germany? Actually, no. It's how people show the number one when they're counting. How confusing. If I go to Germany, I'm putting my hand in my pocket so I don't make a mistake. Um, that's not a good idea either, Sam. Putting your hands in your pockets in Germany means you're bored. You're joking. Clill 1. Exercise 1. Page 24. A rainbow of people. You are at a restaurant, but there's only one thing on the menu to eat. You go to the cinema, but it only ever shows the same film. Does it sound like fun? At school, you all start and finish at the same time. You do the same lessons. You wear the same uniform. But that doesn't mean there are no differences. Some students are good at schoolwork. Some are good at sports. Some are tall and some are short. Some have got dark hair, but others have fair hair. Some walk around, while others use a wheelchair. The world is full of differences, but this makes it wonderful. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet are all lovely colors, but they can make a rainbow when they stand together in the sky. Being different together gives life color. Progress Check 1. Exercise 6. Page 26. So, Liam, how do you like your new school? It's great. I really like Mr. Franklin, my teacher. Yes, he smiles a lot. That's great for a teacher. 
He gets very excited, and that makes the lessons interesting. I like my new friends, Josh and Kim, too. What do they like? Josh talks a lot. He never stops. Kim's really nice, too. At lunch, she shares her chocolate with us. What about the twins, Roger and Sybil? They're in your class, right? Yeah, they are. I'm not sure about Roger. He always tells people what to do. Sybil's nice, though. She's full of energy. Yes, she never stops moving. Is there anyone in the class that everyone likes? Giorgio. All the children in the class like him. It's a nice class, Mum. Oh, I'm so pleased you're happy about your new school.